Stepping up and stepping down are great for foot awareness. We can use something like a pedestal. This one's made out of an old tire. And ask the horse to step up. And equally ask the horse to step down backwards. Or we can step down by going forward over it. Here's boots. Learning the beam balance, which obviously means being more aware of all four of her feet. Give her a little bit of encouragement, with a bit of pressure on the neck rope. And she's really trying, so I click and treat for each effort. There we go. Click and treat for the right hind foot up. She's most of the way there. So I'm just going to use some forward gesture cues, some recall cues. And she's trying so very hard there. That's where teaching one step forward and one step back comes in really useful. And then we back off safely using gesture signals so she doesn't slip off and hurt herself. And we can use a stump to teach bringing one foot forward like we will have to do for trimming. And it's handy to have a back off touch signal so that the horse can back its own foot off a hoof stand and you don't have to lift it up. It saves the back a little bit. And this time we'll use a hand gesture for backing off. And I've got my foot on the stump so that it doesn't fall over. She's thinking about that there. So click in a treat. And we can work with a single rail for foot awareness. So all four feet across the rail. And then I can ask for the hind feet only over the rail and halt there and wait and then we can ask for the front feet over the rail. So the horse becomes much more aware of where his feet are. And hoops are fun to play with. I have a playlist called Hula Hoop Challenges if you want to check that out further. We're going to take ask the hind feet to come out of the hoop while the front feet stay in the hoop just a little bit of a turn on the forehand and now we're going to ask the fronts to step out while the hinds remain in which is a little bit of a turn on the hind quarters and another exercise is to straddle a rail so that there's two feet on one side and the other two feet on the other side I'm using hand gesture signals and I've just the one hind foot to go across and to walk out of the situation. I taught this years ago, but she remembers it well. I was quite amazed with how quickly she picked it up. So to teach, you want to click and treat for each slice of the task. And then we're going to add in backing out of the situation carefully this time rather than walking forward. Tasks like this gradually increase foot awareness. I've click and treat for relaxed, thoughtful effort. If we can mix up all kinds of different foot awareness activities, it never gets boring. We can play with exact foot placement, just using a little lid here and it's now on a piece of wood so it's a little bit higher. And it took us a good month to six weeks to get this sort of accuracy. Here we're playing with placing a hind foot on a 12 inch disc and this was a task to give the teddy bear a seesaw ride and uh, <laughs> she quite enjoyed doing that. She quite enjoyed the applause and we can do bursting balloons, which is heaps of fun. Mm -hmm.